I'm going to show you how to make some amazing fried squash and it's going to be completely healthy for you. Go ahead and subscribe and hey, turn on notifications if you want to eat and be healthier. Let's start out by washing, drying, and cutting up the squash. I take off the tip ends of each side, of course, first, and then we're going to cut the squash about one inch thick slices and then quarter each one. Now we're going to make the mixture that we're going to bread the squash in because what good is fried squash without breading? So we're going to use almond flour, flax seed, and some hemp seed. So many benefits to all of these. But the number one thing is it's the best replacement for refined flour, almond flour. So no gluten, has protein, fiber, vitamins and minerals. And we're gonna just put some in the bowl. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this to see about how much I think it's gonna take to cover the squash that I've cut up. And then just a little bit of flax flax meal in there, a little bit of flax seed, and also a little bit of hemp seed. So you could use the flax seed, flax meal, either one, and you could just do the almond flour. So you don't have to even add the hemp seed and the flax, but it just gives it so much more. Add a little sea salt and black pepper, of course. And I like to go a little bit heavy with the black pepper and then toss all of that together. I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of this grapeseed oil in there just to wet the squash just a tad so that the almond flour and the flax and the hemp all kind of adheres to the squash. Looks good. Now let's prepare the onion. Let's take the skin off first and then slice through that onion a couple of times and then back and forth through those slices to dice it just a little bit, but kind of bigger dices. Add the onion to the preheated oil. Now I've been heating this and it's on high now, so that oil is hot. And then we're gonna add the squash. You're gonna stir and cook for about 25 minutes. Now, I've added a lot of squash that I really am cooking more than I should in this pan. So I'm going to put the lid on just to help it kind of cook through a little bit, but you don't want it to get mushy. So keep it on high, but don't let it stick either. So you're going to constantly be stirring this and scraping the bottom. I love this spatula I have because it really gets the bottom nice um, and keeps it from sticking. And I love my cast iron frying pan as well. All right, it's looking about ready. Just give it a few more little tosses and I think we've got it. Oh my, it's looking and smelling delicious. Hey, I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I have plenty more videos just like this one waiting for you.